Here is the president and CEO of MLSE, Tim Lawicki. Uh, you just heard Nick Kiprios and his commentary. You add uh, another executive to uh, an organization that's already top heavy. Tell me why. Well, at the end of the day, Nick has the right to his opinion, and we'll see who's right. Uh, I respect opinions from uh, people as to whether or not this was the right move, whether or not we have too many decision makers. But I've, I've been a part of organizations that had these kinds of structures, and we did quite well. Uh, the Lakers won a few championships, and that was Dr. Buss and Jerry West and Mitch Kupchak. And so uh, I think we understand the work that needs to be done. We understand everybody's role. I think uh, Shani's going to take a more aggressive role. I'm going to be able to be a little bit more focused on the business side. And I don't think what we're doing here is adding another layer. I, I in fact, think it's exactly the opposite. If we could get Brendan to be the guy that ultimately creates the character here and the heart and soul of this organization will be better for the addition and we're ultimately going to uh, show it on the ice. There, there will be results directly attributable to that cultural change on the ice next year. Culture was a big uh, hot button word uh, during the course of the press conference. You don't like it with the Toronto Maple Leafs team in the locker room right now. Take me deeper into that evaluation. I'm not going to get into that. I'm, I'm going to leave that to Dave and uh, Brendan. I think at the end of the day, everyone understands because I talk a lot about culture. But, but clearly, one of the things we wanted to do when we began to think through this is find the right kind of personality and the right kind of culture to build around. I definitely think we got the number one guy to do that in Brendan. Uh, as to the results and the impact on the team, uh, I'll let I'll let him and Dave now take it from there and make an assessment of what went right and what went wrong with this team. Okay, when did you start to question the culture? Well, I, I questioned all of the cultures the day I started here. That's why they brought me in, is to try to make it better, to try to get us to a point where all of the teams win. Uh, so we, we were a little bit more focused on the basketball side because we had to, and then we got focused on the soccer side because we had to. It's the Leafs' turn. Uh, from a timing standpoint, it's important we now uh, focus our time and energy on fixing this and getting it to the right place. Uh, I think Brendan hit it uh, right. We got a lot of hard work to do. Uh, this isn't a press conference solves nothing. We have to go work on this on a day-to-day -day basis by trying to outwork everyone, uh, trying to ultimately use the experience and the knowledge of all of these guys and do the heavy lifting that's going to have to take place here in order to turn this around and get to a point where the Leafs are in the playoffs each and every year for long stretches at a time. Tim, you mentioned that this job was on the org chart a year ago. Why did it take so long? I uh, wanted to find the right person, and in the case of Brendan, there was no way we were going to be able to do this midstream. And the minute I approached him on it, the minute we offered it to him, we had an inherent conflict of interest that we were going to have to deal with. So we, we knew we were going to have to be patient. We knew we were going to have to wait till the end of our season. We knew it was going to have to be a conversation that was done very quickly. And um, it, it was a little tricky as to the timing, but it, it all worked out in the end. So do you think if Brendan Shanahan would have been hired last fall, this collapse would have been avoided? Uh, I don't know. It's a good question. I, I Look, I wasn't prepared to do it last fall because it was my first year and I had to go through the pain. I had to learn. I had to understand what was right and what was wrong in the locker room with the organization, where we were good and strong in management, where we required some additional help in management. So part of this was a learning process and part of this required me to get my arms around what I inherited and, and try to begin to define what I could do to make it better. In time, when did you first approach Brendan Shanahan? Three weeks ago? A month ago? No, actually we had to do it quick, so the, I, I talked to the commissioner within the last uh, roughly seven days. Uh, Shani and I had a lot of different conversations. I flew into New York and spent uh, an evening with him, and then uh, we followed through on uh, the phone afterwards. So um, it, it was because of the nature of what he does for the league, it was critical that we make it a very quick conversation. And it was not one where we could approach him uh, six months ago and have an ongoing conversation. It, that would have been probably uh, not fair to the league and not fair to the other teams. What makes you confident that somebody without any experience can step in and turn this organization around? Go spend a day with Brendan. That simple? 
You guys know him. You look at his resume, you look at his character, you look at the way he goes about every task he's ever had in life, uh, whether it be a player, whether it be the, the job he's done for this league in the front office, whether it be his involvement in the various improvements to the game, lockouts. The one thing I heard from everybody uh, before the decision and after the decision is you're not going to find a guy with more integrity and a guy with more work ethic than we have in this guy. There's not one doubt in my mind about the improvement we made today, how this organization is going to get better. As I said, we, we got a lot of hard work, and, and we haven't done anything as of today except a press conference. We've announced where we're going. We've announced how we're going to get there. But now the heavy lifting uh, starts. What I know about him is he's prepared for the heavy lifting. He'll, he'll be more aggressive and work harder at it than anybody in our organization. And as I said during the press conference, 18 playoff appearances in 21 years. That's a pretty good track record. So your team's in the playoffs next year? I'll let that, the, you should ask the president that. <laughs> <laughs> and we finally got that earpiece to stay in there, and now I have to say goodbye. Thanks, Tim. All right, guys, thanks. Cheers.